நண்பர்கள் அனைவருக்கும் வணக்கம் எல்லோரும் நன்றாக இருப்பீர்கள் சமீபத்தில் நான் பேசின தமிழ் வீடியோக்கள் ஆங்கில மொழிபெயர்ப்போட ஆங்கிலத்தில் பேசப்பட்டு தீபா அவர்களால் பேசப்பட்டு மிகப்பெரிய ஒரு நல்ல வரவேற்பை பெற்று வருகின்றன அப்படிங்கிறது எல்லோருக்குமே தெரியும் கிட்டத்தட்ட நாற்பதுக்கும் மேற்பட்ட வீடியோக்கள் ஆங்கிலத்தில் என்னுடைய தமிழ் வீடியோக்கள் ஆங்கிலத்தில் மொழிபெயர்த்து போடப்பட்டு வருகின்றன மிகுந்த வரவேற்பை எல்லோருமே நல்லா வெல்கம் பண்ணுறீங்க தெரியுது இப்பொழுது ஏற்கனவே நான் பேசிய பனிரெண்டு லக்னங்களுக்கும் ஒவ்வொரு தனித்தனி கிரகங்கள் அதாவது பனிரெண்டு லக்னங்களுக்கும் சூரியன் சந்திரன் செவ்வாய் ராகு உள்ளிட்ட ஒன்பது கிரகங்கள் எந்த நிலையில் எப்படி இருந்தால் நல்ல பலன்களை தரும் என்பதை பேசிய ஒரு மிகுந்த வரவேற்பை பெற்ற பன்னிரெண்டு லக்ன வீடியோக்கள் இப்போது ஒவ்வொன்றாக ஆங்கிலத்தில் மொழிபெயர்க்கப்பட்டு அடுத்தடுத்து உங்களுக்கு வர இருக்கிறது இதில் என்ன ஒரு சிறப்பு என்னென்னா அவ்வப்போது உயர்நிலை வகுப்புகளில் நான் பேசிய சில விளக்கங்கள் சில சூற்றுமங்களை கூட தீபா அவர்கள் வந்து இந்த நடுவில் இந்த பனிரெண்டு லக்னங்களுக்கும் ஒன்பது கிரகங்கள் தனித்தனியே என்ன பலன்களை செய்யும் என்ற ஆங்கில வீடியோக்களுக்கு நடுவே என்னுடைய உயர்நிலை வகுப்புகளில் நான் சொன்ன கருத்துக்களையும் இணைத்து தனித்தனி வீடியோவாக வெளியிட இருக்கிறார்கள் வழக்கம் போலவே இந்த ஆங்கில வீடியோக்களுக்கு உங்களுடைய வரவேற்பு இருக்கும் என்பதை நம்புகிறேன் வாழ்த்துக்கள் எல்லோரும் நன்றாக இருப்பீர்கள் திஸ் ப்ரோக்ராம் இஸ் பிராட்ஜி பை குருஜி டிவி திஸ் யூடியூப் வீடியோ இஸ் அ டிரான்ஸ்லேஷன் ஆஃப் த தமிழ் வீடியோ ஆஃப் அவர் ரெனவுண்ட் அஸ்ட்ராலஜர் ஜோதிஷ் மகாகுரு ஆதித்ய குருஜி த லிங்க் ஆஃப் த ஒரிஜினல் வெர்ஷன் தட் இஸ் அ தமிழ் வீடியோ இஸ் கிவன் இன் த டிஸ்கிரிப்ஷன் பாக்ஸ் ஆஃப் திஸ் வீடியோ திஸ் இஸ் அஸ்ட்ராலஜர் தீபா அண்ட் ஆம் ப்ரெசென்டிங் யூ த இங்கிலீஷ் வெர்ஷன் ஆஃப் த தமிழ் வீடியோ இன் திஸ் வீடியோ ஐம் கோயிங் டு எக்ஸ்பிளைன் த எஃபெக்ட்ஸ் ஆஃப் சன் இன் டிஃப்ரெண்ட் ஹவுசஸ் for the native of kanya that is virgo ascendant i hope you will have watched my last video which explained the effects of sun in different houses for native of leo ascendant well let us start this video when sun resides in the ascendant house itself for native of kanya ascendant it will not deliver any benefits because sun is the house lord of 12th house which is not considered to be an auspicious house therefore when sun resides in the ascendant house it does not deliver great benefits because it is the house lord of the 12th house i have already said that sun is not auspicious when it resides in the ascendant house however ascendant lord will be in a state like sun is my best friend and it has come to my house so i can manage the situation the ascendant lord mercury will think like sun is my very best friend and he has come to my house though he is a drunkard or doing something bad let it be let him reside in my house i can manage this will be the mindset of the ascendant lord mercury the ascendant lord mercury treats sun as the most friendly planet so it will not be in avastha as its best friend sun resides in its house whatever sun does whether it drinks or whether it does anything bad mercury will be able to accept it because mercury treats sun as its best friend and this love will make mercury to blindfold to whatever sun does in this house when somebody is close to our heart and does anything bad we will definitely try to manage it when sun resides in kanya that is virgo it will not deliver much worse effects however sun is not the house lord of an auspicious house so it will not deliver any benefits when it resides in kanya because sun is lord of the 12th house when sun resides in second house that is in libra it gets debilitated the lord of the 12th house the house of expenses is in the second house 
to the ascendant house. This is not such a favorable position. Based on the strength of the dispositor, that is Venus, you have to make predictions. Please remember always that for native of Kanya Lagna, that is Virgo ascendant, Sun is Lord of the 12th house, which is an inauspicious house. When Sun resides in Scorpio, that is in 3rd house, it is considered to be good. Here, the Lord of the 12th house is in the 3rd house to the ascendant, and this is the house of most friendly planet Mars. So this is a favorable planetary position of Sun for the native of Virgo Ascendant. When Sun resides in 4th house to Ascendant house, it is not considered to be favorable. This is the Quadrant house and Lord of 12th house, that is house of expenses, is in the 4th house which signifies Mother. This is not considered to be favorable. This will deliver worse effects in certain situations. In order to predict the effects of the fourth house, you have to check the strength of Jupiter, which is a dispositor of Sagittarius, fourth house, and also the status or strength of Moon, which signifies Mother. In general, when Sun is in the quadrant house, and it is not the lord of auspicious house, it is not considered to be favorable because here the sun is the lord of house of expenses and it resides in fourth house. When sun resides in Capricorn, it is the fifth house to the ascendant house and sun is the lord of the twelfth house, house of expense. And as per Bhavat Bhavam, Sun will be in the 6th house to Leo, to its own house. This is not considered to be good. Sun should not resign in a trine house because it is lord of the inauspicious house and it is 50% benefic and 50% malefic. So definitely this is not a good position and sun should not reside here. And what about the 6th house to the ascendant house, that is Aquarius? Sun should not reside in the 6th house in Aquarius. Sun should not definitely reside in house of Saturn, which is the 6th house to the ascendant house. Though it aspects its own house Leo, this position is not considered to be good. Please remember always for the native of Virgo Ascendant, Sun is the Lord of 12th house. Therefore, Sun should not reside in the 6th house. When Sun resides in 4th house to the Ascendant house, it gives a sort of mediocre effect. When Sun resides in 5th house, the effects will be worse. When Sun resides in 6th house, it does not deliver any benefits. And let us see the effects of sun in the 7th house, that is in Pisces. Even the position of sun in the 7th house is not considered to be favorable. Though sun resides in house of Jupiter, which is Pisces, it is not considered to be good. In general, when sun resides in 7th house, it is not considered to be good and though here sun resides in house of Jupiter, it is not good. For any ascendant, sun is a planet which is 50% benefic and 50% malefic. Having said this, when sun resides in 7th house, it will aspect the ascendant house. The connection of the house to the ascendant house that is, the connection of sun to the ascendant house will not deliver any great benefits. This will definitely give a lot of overconfidence to the needle and the needle will be very proud of himself or herself and will tend to behave arrogant. 
There are some people, you know, who always blow their own trumpets and there are certain people in this world who will say that they can change even the fate of India within a day, no matter in what condition it is or how much populated it is. There will be certain people who always say that they can turn the situation, whatever it is, into a glorious one within a day. This sort of overconfidence will be delivered by sun. For these people, sun will definitely be in connection with lagna. Now let us see the 8th house. In the 8th house to the ascendant house, sun gets exalted that is in Aries. The Lord of the 12th house is in the 8th house in exalted status. This is sort of okay. However, when sun resides in 8th house and remains subatva, it will definitely offer connections with foreign countries. If sun is not subatva, then definitely it will spoil. Here sun gets exalted in 8th house. When a malafic is exalted, which is in 6th, 8th or 12th house, it will not deliver very bad effects. When a malafic is exalted, which is in 6th, 8th or 12th house, it will not deliver very bad effects. If sun is subatva, then definitely native will go to a foreign country or a neighboring state since the lord of 12th house is in the 8th house. In most cases, sun here will deliver the neighboring state connections rather than foreign countries. If only sun is subatva, then it will make the native to go abroad. Therefore, when sun resides in 8th house without any subatva, it will move the native to a neighboring state or a distant place, not abroad. If sun resides in ninth house to the ascendant house in Taurus, though it gets subatva, based on the concept of Karaho Bhavanasti, it is not considered to be good. However, when sun is pabatva, it will affect the status of the father. Sun should not be in connection with Mars, Saturn, Rahu or Ketu. Did you notice something? I mentioned Mars here. For the native of Virgo ascendant, Mars is a dead enemy. I say that Sun should not be in conjunction with Mars very spontaneously. So far till the 8th house I have not mentioned Mars but in this case when I am talking about the planetary position I mentioned about the conjunction of Mars and Sun. I mentioned that Sun should not be in conjunction with Saturn, Rahu or Ketu or Mars. You have to definitely think what is the reason that I told very particularly regarding this house that Sun should not be in conjunction with Mars, Saturn or Rahu or Ketu. Because Mars is Lord of the 8th house for the native of Virgo Ascendant. This is the planet which is not favorable at all, which brings all the worst effects to the native of Virgo Ascendant. When Sun is in conjunction with Saturn or Rahu or Mars, it will spoil the status of the father. During the major planetary period of Sun, it will affect the father to a great extent and it will affect the status of the father as well. For the native of Virgo ascendant, Mars should not be in conjunction with Sun except in house of Leo in 12th house. Let me explain the next house, the 10th house for the native of Virgo ascendant. When Sun resides in 10th house, it resides in Gemini whose house lord, Lagna lord, treats sun as the most friendly planet. 
Sun attains directional strength as well. This is another house of the Ascendant Lord. This is such a good planetary position. Therefore, this brings a lot of benefits for the native of Virgo Ascendant. When Sun resides in 11th house to the Ascendant house, which is Cancer, it is good because this is house of Moon. The 12th house Lord is in the 11th house to the Ascendant house and it is good. When Sun resides in house of Gains, that is Cancer, which is 11th house to the Ascendant house, it will move the native to a distant place. Please try to understand that the 12th house signifies the prison. If you want to check whether a person goes abroad or not, you are checking the 12th house. Even for checking whether a person will go to a prison or not, you have to check the 12th house. The 12th house should not be Pabatwa. Well, what should be the next question? When a native will go to the prison? The 12th house should not be Pabatwa. When 12th house is Pabatwa and where there is connection of 6th, 8th and 12th house, it signifies the imprisonment. 12th house is the house which cripples a person without ability to act on his own. Can anyone who got imprisoned, got confined within four walls, can act as per his will? He cannot. This effect will be brought by the 12th house. Therefore, when the 12th house is Pabatwa and the 12th house Lord is also Pabatwa, then it signifies the imprisonment. When sun resides in the 12th house to its own house Leo, and in the 11th house, house of gains to the ascendant, it will deliver immense benefits for the native of Kanya ascendant. Based on the strength of the moon, you have to make predictions. Now, let me explain the next position of sun. When sun, lord of 12th house, is in the 12th house itself, it is considered to be good. When sun resides in its own house, 12th house to the ascendant house, definitely it will move the native to a foreign country. If sun is Subhatwa, then it will make the native to stay in a foreign country or to settle there. You have to check whether 8th house or 12th house or Subhatwa to check whether the native will settle abroad. Here, when Sun resides in Leo itself, that is in its own house, Leo becomes very strong. In the natal charts of the people who work as IAS or IPS in their neighboring states, you will definitely see that Sun has got a connection with 6th, 8th or 12th house. Therefore, Sun will definitely deliver a good rank in the government sector or it will move the native to a distant place or a foreign country when Leo is strong and Sun is Subhatwa in the 12th house. Well, in my next video, I'm going to explain about the effects of Sun in different houses for the native of Libra Ascendant. Well, this is question time. And it is also in conjunction with Mars, which is the most friendly planet of sun is it considered to be good for the native of Virgo ascendant? Please write your answer in the comment section of this video and please justify your answer. In the description box, we have added the playlist link of all English videos so far published. The link of Aditya Guruji's website is given below in the description box that is accessible by both iOS and Android users. The link of Google Play Store app is also given in the description box that is available only for Android users. The link of the Tamil version of this video is also available 
please check the description box and please write your feedback to astro.write to us at gmail.com. Thank you.